Hi and welcome back to my channel. It's the most wonderful time of the year right now for a beauty junkie like myself and that is the Sephora sale. It happens twice a year. It's 15% in the spring and 20% right now in the fall. So I wanted to get my list up of recommendations and my wish list, things that I'm hoping to pick up kind of fighting against daylight running out here. So let's just get started. I'm going to start with my recommendations. Now being that I am somebody who is a huge eyeshadow palette junkie, I have quite a few eyeshadow palettes that I'd like to talk about. The first eyeshadow palette I wanted to talk about is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette that came out probably about a month or so ago. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere, but this palette is absolutely stunning. You get an excellent mix of warm and cool tones, mattes and shimmers, and some really neat topper shades like this one right here, uh, right here, and right here that you can kind of layer on your other shadows and get some really neat looks out of. So this is definitely one I would recommend picking up. Uh, whether you like warm tones, cool tones, or both, you can just get really a ton of gorgeous looks out of it. It is something that if you're planning to pick up, I'm 20% like off, is a great time to do it. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend this one. I absolutely love it. Some of my absolute favorite shimmer shadows are the Natasha Denona shadows. Um, I do have the Lila palette and the Sunset palette. I think that these are great. They're a wonderful um, way to kind of get into her shadows. If you're a warm tone lover, I would highly recommend going with the Sunset palette. As you can see, you get some really, really spectacular shimmer shadows. I mean, that her shimmers are just otherworldly. Uh, you can get a ton of great, beautiful looks out of this for the fall. And I just think that it's a dynamite palette. Personally, I really like cool tones. Um, purples are my favorite color. So I have been absolutely loving the, the Lila palette, I believe it's called. The Lila, Lila. I think it's the Lila palette. Um, these shimmers are just, they're, they're phenomenal. And the wear time on these, they last forever. I mean, these are great for a special event, a night out, because at the end of the day, no matter what you're doing, you know, these are going to look exactly the same as when you put them on. I highly, highly recommend these. If you're more into matte shadows, I'm sure that, you know, you're going to know what I'm going to say here. I would definitely say go with uh, the Vizzy Art shadows if you like matte. The Neutrals palette is something that I think that everybody needs in their collection. It's a staple palette. Um, you know, even if you're using another eyeshadow palette and you just need a transition color or a black to darken things up, I mean, you really can't go wrong with these shadows. They practically blend themselves. Uh, these do go for $80, so definitely, you know, 20% off is going to be fantastic. Um, I'm going to stop saying that. I think I've said that for everything, but you know, these are a little bit pricier. If it's something that you've been interested in buying, you know, this would be a great time to pick them up. I also have, which I love because I am a cool tone lover. Uh, I do have the cool mattes. This is stunning. That pink in the, in the transition, these grays are really pretty. I love this blue, the purple. I mean, it's just a beautiful palette. So, and I don't think that there are enough cool tone palettes on the market right now. So if you're a cool tone lover, this is one that I'd say you should get your hands on. Um, I do have one of the kind of the more satin shadows. This is the Paris Nudes. Again, really, really beautiful. So blendable and easy. You can use these in the crease um, because they're not super duper shimmery. Again, if you want something that's out of this world shimmery, I'd say go with the Natasha Denona. But this is a beautiful daytime palette. If you work in an office or somewhere where you kind of can't go nuts with your eyeshadow, I've gotten a ton of really, really pretty looks out of this. The final one I want to talk about is the brand new Tartlet Toast It. I love this palette. You can really mix and match any of the shadows in here and just get a dynamite look. It's effortless. You really, 
It's not a palette that you look at and you think, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's something that no matter what you put on, you know, what combination, you're going to be happy with the look. These do last all day. Again, they're smooth, buttery. They smell fantastic. Um, it's not an overpowering scent if you're not somebody who likes scent to their makeup. Personally, I love it. But just a dynamite palette. Whether you're a beginner, whether you're a makeup fanatic, it's just something that it's really, really easy to get a beautiful and cohesive look out of. So I recommend any of those. So let's talk about highlights. Um, I am a person who does wear highlight every day. I love it. And I really think that you can't go wrong with an Anastasia Glow Kit. This is the newest glow kit for holiday 2017. It's the Sugar Glow Kit. These shades in here, they're so beautiful. They blend on the skin. Um, you can do them really, really subtly, or you can get that ba bam glowing from space highlighter. It just depends kind of, you know, what you're going for and how much you pack on. But they're so soft. The colors are beautiful. Um, there's something for everyone. I love wearing this shade here, uh, Marshmallow, in my inner corner, which I do have in there today. And this shade down here, Starburst, uh, it is just, it's a phenomenal color. Can't go wrong with this again. The Anastasia highlighters are by far some of my favorite formula on the market. They're also really nice if you have a bit, little bit of a more mature or textured skin because I don't think that they highlight that as much as some of kind of the other more metallic and crazy highlights out there do. So this is something that I would highly recommend picking up. I love it. I haven't put it down since I bought it and it's just fantastic. The other highlight formula that I really, really love is these Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And I do have some of the full sizes, but I think if you can go for the set and just kind of get in there, you need such a tiny amount of these that if these are going to last you for years. You do get the Halo, which is kind of um, that holographic look, and then you get a more pinky a uh, pretty gold one, and then rose gold, which is also stunning. I'm going through a major rose gold phase personally, and it, these are just beautiful. You can wear them alone. You can layer them to kind of intensify a powder highlighter. They're so beautiful. They blend so seamlessly on the skin, and just a great value to get four of them for the price of one, essentially. And you don't need a lot. So even though these guys look really small, they're going to last you a long, long time. I do have a blush that I think doesn't get enough love anymore on YouTube. In the beginning when it first came out, you know, everybody was pumped about these. But I don't see them used as much. And I absolutely love this formula. It is the Marc Jacobs, uh, what are they called? The Air Blush Blushes, I have this in number 500, Lush and Libido. If you want a darker look, you can kind of swirl your brush on this side, a lighter look, stay here, or what I do is I just kind of go around through the whole thing. It gives a gorgeous luminosity to the skin without being glittery. Um, these are just a fantastic product, and I definitely recommend picking one up if you're a blush lover. These are absolutely gorgeous. Getting back to the Marc Jacobs products, because I do have a couple more that I absolutely love. Um, the Marc Jacobs lip glosses are my absolute favorite gloss. Um, right now I am wearing Skin Deep, which is a gorgeous top color. Um, they do have a little set right now. Here's a couple of them that I found. They're kind of the little babies. Um, but I love these. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking up some of some more of the big sizes. I do have a couple of the full sizes as well. But these little guys, if you haven't tried this formula, it's just a great way to kind of get it, test it, make sure you like it. They have the best kind of mint smell. It almost reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream. They're long lasting. They're not goopy. They don't kind of stick together when you move your lips. They're just a really comfortable and a really, really beautiful formula. I think that the set is a great value. You do get either four or five, I can't remember off the top of my head. 
there definitely are uh, some gorgeous colors. There are some with shimmer, some without, you know, there's something for everybody. Awesome. I think that this lip gloss is such a beautiful formula. It is fairly long lasting as lip glosses go. It's a very heavy packaging. It feels luxurious when you're using it. It's beautiful. I just, I you can't go wrong with Marc Jacobs. My other Marc Jacobs product that I absolutely love, and I forgot to bring them in with me, is the highliners, the matte highliners. They are the longest wearing, best eyeliners I have ever tried in my life. Um, I used my brown one probably for six months, almost every single day, and it finally just ran out. I also do have the light lilac-y purple one that I love to just put in my inner corner to add some brightness and there's a couple of these on my wish list as well that I'll get into and I'd like to be picking up but they last and last like it's the type of thing where you can take off all your makeup with a remover or whatever it is that you use to take off your makeup and you're gonna have a hard time getting these out of the water line. They do last all day. Um, they're just a fantastic product and I highly recommend picking one of those up. Just get one, just try it, you'll be hooked. For bronzers, um, I have been going hard with, this is the small size, but the little hourglass um, bronzer. This is in Luminous Bronze Light. This is the most universally flattering, gorgeous bronzer. It does not have shimmer in it, but it does give your skin a really nice, healthy luminosity. And the sale is a fantastic time to try out the Hourglass product. Mm -hmm. It's just a really great formula. Um, and these little guys, I think they're $22.00. If you're interested in trying the formula, just grab a small one of these. I guarantee you will love it. It just makes your skin look so healthy and it's just a really, 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 really beautiful, thinly milled, soft powder. So moving on to face products, I do have a couple of primers that I've been absolutely loving lately that I would say go ahead and just grab one primer. Um, the first being the Milk Makeup. I love this. This is so wonderful. I just use it on my T-zone right in here where I kind of have a little bit more uh, larger pores. This is great. This thing has lasted me forever. It's convenient to travel with. Um, I use it. I kind of rub it on my finger, warm up the product, and then just pat it right in. And it just, it really does fill in your pores. It kind of I, for me at least, I don't have very oily skin. It's kind of normal to combination, but it keeps the oil in my T-zone at bay. Uh, I was going hard with this in the summer. Absolutely love it. As the colder weather approaches, you know, I definitely find myself reaching for a more hydrating primer. My favorite is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I'm not gonna lie, part of it is the coconut smell. I love this stuff. It really gives your skin such a softness and a suppleness. It gets kind of tacky. It holds the makeup in place. It's just beautiful. Um, definitely something if you're dry skinned, you need this in your life. It really does hold your makeup and kind of make you feel like it's doing something to help it last all day. So I absolutely love it. The final primer that I would definitely recommend, especially if you're somebody who has a little bit more mature skin, is this, uh, the Tarte, what's it called? The Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. And uh, this is kind of a little pot. I've had this for, I'd say at least six months. And as you can see, I still got quite a bit of the product left. You don't need a lot. Again, you just take it in your fingers, warm it up and you kind of stick it right where you have pores. I even find that this helps with, um, with kind of areas that maybe are a little bit more crepey or a little bit wrinkly for me. Um, this is something that I think is, it's very, very smoothing. It's somewhat mattifying. It helps your makeup stay on, which obviously we all want in a primer. And I really just, this is a fantastic product. Uh, it looks small, but I guarantee you only need the tiniest bit. It will last you for a long time. This is something that I 
honestly can say that I couldn't live without. I love this primer. I always go back to it. I try other things and then I end up back with this one. You really can't beat it. So let's move into foundations. I think that the sale is a really, really good time to invest in a foundation. A foundation is something that you're gonna wear every day and I think that kind of spending the extra money to get a, uh, a nice foundation, it's something that's an investment, but it's something, again, that you're going to get use out of every day. So I think that this is a wonderful time to pick up uh, maybe that more expensive foundation that you've had your eye on. The first one that I have been loving lately, and I know I'm so late to the party on this one, is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I cannot stop wearing this since I got it. I understand now what all the hype is about. It is such a beautiful, full coverage. It is pretty matte, so it's really great for this time of year. Um, if you have really dry skin, I don't know if you're gonna love this, although I do find that it mixes really well with the Too Faced primer, uh, the, the Hangover primer. I think that they go great together. That's what I use when I wear this. Um, I just sheer it out with a beauty blender. You really don't need a lot and it just gives you such a flawless looking complexion. And the other thing that I find when I do wear this is I wear this to work and at the end of the day when I look in the mirror, my face makeup looks exactly the same. My blush is still there, my contour, um, it really does hold on to your makeup and keep everything looking very flawless and very put together. I really think that this is a great foundation and I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Another foundation that I have loved probably for the past year now is the Lancome. I know everybody talks about the Taint Idol. I don't know how to say it. I'm going to butcher it just like I'm going to butcher the name of this one. But this is the Lancome uh, Renergy Lift Makeup. This is wonderful for more mature skin. It really does um, kind of just glide over those fine lines and wrinkles. It does not sink into them. This also really just it gives a nice luminosity to your skin it makes it look very healthy it's got a youthful glow i think that this layers really nicely on top of that tarte poreless primer um that's a great combination this one isn't available in store i think that you can only get it online but it's something that i absolutely um think that especially again if you are somebody with a little bit more mature skin this is something that you're going to love it makes your skin look youthful and dewy and just kind of supple I love this one I, I the Lancome foundations I think that they're all pretty great but this one is by far my favorite it doesn't settle into your fine lines and wrinkles it looks really beautiful and it's definitely very buildable it's a wonderful foundation Another thing that I would really recommend is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream Your Skin But Better. Not the Radiance, just the good old fashioned original. I think that this is something that everybody should have in their collection. It's got SPF 50. It wears well all day. It's really easy. You can slap it on with your hands, with a brush, with a sponge, whatever way you like to put on your makeup. You don't even necessarily have to wear a primer with this. It's wonderful on the weekends if you just kind of want to even out your skin to run some errands. It is pretty full coverage for being a CC cream. And it really does, it does really nice things for your skin. I love that about IT Cosmetics, that their products are, you know, developed with plastic surgeons and that, the, you know, when you wear it, you feel like your skin is like, yes, thank you. Um, it's, it's really nice. One thing that I know that people aren't crazy about the smell, I don't mind the smell. It's kind of slightly like Lemon Pledge, but for the, the product and the consistency, the way that it looks on your skin. I mean, I think that you can overlook the smell because this is gorgeous. For setting powder, I just have one. This is my Holy Grail setting powder. It is the Cover FX setting powder. Uh, they do have two shades. I'm in the light to medium. Um, it's just it's a gorgeous powder. It's very finely milled. It glides over your skin. It gives you a very flawless effect. Um, definitely love the Cover FX setting powder. And then finally, I think that this is a great time to splurge on skincare. 
And the skincare that I have been absolutely loving at the moment is this Kate Somerville uh, Wrinkle Warrior. It is a two-in-one plumping moisturizer and serum. I don't use it as a moisturizer. I do use it as a serum, especially it's great under the eyes. You just need the teeniest, tiniest amount, and it kind of plumps up your skin um, anywhere that you've got, you know, some fine lines, wrinkles, maybe things look a little lackluster. This is such a holy grail product for me and now that i've bought it it's something that i don't see myself ever being without i especially love it under the eyes i uh, put this on right after my toner and then layer my moisturizer on top um, but this is a great product especially if you do have more mature skin the other skincare product that i would highly recommend picking up during the sale is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I'm currently out of it right now. I've been waiting for the sale to come around to grab one for myself. Um, it's an alpha hydroxy acid um, kind of serum that you put on your skin at night. It makes your skin so smooth. Um, it's really great for texture, for fine lines. Uh, it's just, it's so it's nice. nice. I really noticed a difference when I use it as to when I don't use it. It's just, it's such a great product. It is super duper expensive, which again is why I will be picking that up during the sale. Now I'm going to get into what is on my loves list and what I am, you know, kind of thinking about picking up during the sale. So one thing that I know that I'll be picking up for sure is the Marc Jacobs, one of the little iconic multi-finish eyeshadow palettes. Um, the one that I picked out is Provocateur. It's kind of got the blushy pinks and the mauvey colors, which is what I've been into lately. Um, I think that they look really beautiful. I haven't tried um, any of those eyeshadows yet, so it's definitely something I'm excited about. The other eyeshadow palette that I'm really excited to pick up is one of the little Huda Beauty Obsessions eyeshadow palettes. Um, it looks like you get nine colors in these palettes for $27. Um, I think that her, again, her shadows are really beautiful. I have been loving the Desert Dusk palette. I have the Mauve palette in my cart right now, so I'm very excited to be picking that up. I plan to pick up two of the Marc Jacobs highliners, the Pink of Me, which I think will look really nice in the waterline. I know Babs Beauty raves about them, uh, especially that color. So I'll be picking that up as well as the color Earthquake, which is kind of a dark chocolatey brown, which I thought would be nice. Um, the Marc Jacobs lip gloss, I either will be picking up Love Drunk or Love Buzz. Uh, I do have Love Buzz right now. Every time I wear it, I get tons of compliments. Love Drunk is more of a mauve color. It's a little bit darker for the fall, um, winter time. So I think that that's the one that I'm going to go with. Um, and like I said, I'll be picking up the good jeans um, because... It's just seriously the best skincare I've ever used in my life. The other thing that I'm picking up skincare wise that I'm really excited to try, I've seen so many people rave about, is the Drunk Elephant, which I haven't tried anything from Drunk Elephant yet. Uh, the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. It's a really intense alpha hydroxy acid kind of a treatment. I think you can use it two times a week and it's just really supposed to help with texture and pores and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really, really looking forward to picking that up. I also plan to pick up the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I had that a while ago and I don't know why I never repurchased it. It is such a great setting powder just for the under the eyes. It gives a really nice, bright, you know, kind of wide awake look to the skin. And that's something that I'll be picking up. And the final item that I'm planning to pick up during the sale is I love the little Sephora sets. I always like to try out, you know, a couple if they speak to me. I know I've tried some of their lip sets in the past. So I will be picking up the 
So for our favorites, Big is Back Set, which is all volumizing um, kind of hair products. I have super thin, fine hair, so I thought it'd be a nice way to try out some of the different brands. I think you get in it, um, you get something from Living Proof, Way, um, Amica, which is my favorite, Briogeo, uh, it looks like caviar and verb. So I'm really excited to pick that up as well. So that's going to do it for my Sephora recommendations and wish list. I'd love to know what things you're looking at to pick up during the sale, what you've already picked up during the sale, um, and anything that you've tried that maybe is on my loves list and what your experiences were. So definitely leave some comments below. If you saw something, um, a palette or whatever, and you'd like to see it in action, you know, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to do a look with any of those. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful time at the sale. It's a great time to treat yourself. And uh, I'll talk to you soon in the next one. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And stay beautiful.